Right, hello YouTube, welcome back to our little From the Depths 50k volume limit tournament. Now, following last time, a few things have been brought to my attention. First of all is the custom battle system, which I was not aware of. So we have a bit more of an actual proper setup. They spawn exactly a thousand kilometers or a thousand meters away from each other. They have a huge amount of resources of, is built in now, which is more what I was intending from the start. There's a 10 minute timer. But you might notice we've done this battle before, so... Actually, have I got the right one? I'm just checking I've got the right one there. Yes. Uh, so I talked to Mecha and all that, and yeah, they said it, it wasn't supposed to drop its guns. What we're going to do, we're going to do a rematch for posterity's sake. We won't count the points unless it comes down to a draw between the two. Uh, because technically they did submit one that wasn't working, so I have to sort of at least stick with that a bit, but... This is what it was supposed to have been. So, let's begin the fight, shall we? This is the proper working tatsu worm versus the submersible platform. And again, they're spawning properly. They've got the right amount of resources. They should be running out of ammo. Sorry about this. I would have done a tournament like this right from the start if I'd realized this was an option. I'd ne literally never looked at uh, the custom battles thing. And look, we've got damage readouts on the top right and bottom, uh, top right and top left. It's awesome. I can actually see what damage is being taken. Now, interestingly, the guy who built the submarine platform was not very optimistic about his choice, his chances, but so far, at least, he's in the lead, although the the Mechistopheles is dodging, or the, the Tassel Web is dodging well. It is doing some damage over time. Those big missiles definitely sting. Even if they're not necessarily the most accurate. I think these are going to hit, though. The Tatsu Worm itself is definitely drawing the majority of fire, but it is also dodging some of it. I keep automatically going to check the, uh, the health. I don't need to. It's literally on the screen. But yeah, the Tatsu Worm is taking some hits. Platform is also being hit, but Top Harbor looks reasonably... It's been holed, but doesn't look too bad. Some missile launchers look like they're maybe not working anymore. Yeah, there's definitely damage happening. I think it's these missiles. I think it will depend on whether these missiles land enough hits or whether it manages to evade enough of them. Which it is doing surprisingly well. It's... I don't think it's enormously evasive. It's just that these missiles are not tremendously good at tracking. I think is what's going on there. They're possibly jamming inside the Tatsu Worm as well. I'm not sure. I think at least one of the ships that's in the tournament had jamming, but I don't know if this is one of them. Yeah, the platform's taking a lot of damage now, actually. I think that was the really big missile going past, yeah, the big cruise one. Yeah, I, I did ask why they said no, it probably wasn't a weapon here. They didn't think it had any weapons that could have instantly destroyed the guns like that. that I hadn't seen. Yeah, maybe the Tatsu Worm has got this. Maybe they maybe they were right. Again, it's really on that evasion. It's whether it's the timing also for when those missiles come in. If they come in at the right timing and actually hit it, it might be in trouble, but. Dodging is working reasonably well so far. Wrong type of guidance, perhaps, for a target like this? Could well be the case. There's that big cruise missile. Is it going to hit? Oh, I thought it was going to hit the gun there. That probably would have been game over for that gun pod if that had been hit. But it is taking hits to those sides. Sort of wide, uh, wide rear is definitely a little bit vulnerable to fire. And it is still taking damage fast. Or it is taking more damage overall, I should say, not faster necessarily. The light missiles are sometimes hitting. But yes, thank you. I think it was Dama. Dama Doc who pointed out that the uh, the custom battle mode was a thing. I'd never even really rip twigged on that it was there. Oh that wasn't done it any good, that was a big hit. I'm not sure there was anything in there to get hit, but it's kinda hard to tell. Sorry for focusing on the Tatsu Worm a lot, it's the one where a lot of the battle seems to be happening. The submersible platform is taking a lot of damage, but the rear missile launchers seem to be firing good, uh, firing well. And he said firing good, that's not quite right, but... I think it is the Tatsu Worm's battle to win or lose. It'll... I think this evasion is, is doing a lot, but it's whether it's enough. So every now and then, yeah, one or two hit, and then it takes damage. Yeah, and occasionally you get a really big hit like that. In fact, was that the big cruise missile? No, just the regular large. There's the cruise. Oh, we're going to have a hit. 
We have a hit. Oh, that card would be good. Good chunk out of the side. It's very close. It's still very close, even with both ships working properly. Is this thing going to do too badly, even on its own, without its support platforms? I haven't noticed that pack cannon fire in a long time. Oh, that might be why. If it's taking hits like that, I think it's slowing down. Halfway through on the timer. The rules for destruction are on the default. I haven't adjusted those, so... I believe it's 55% health you're just knocked out automatically. And 80% if you're sinking. I think it's pretty much how the game normally handles it on the, uh, on the campaign. Still gunfire coming out. These gun pods haven't been touched, but... The problem is they kind of don't have to be, because the main body is one of the important bits, and that is taking a beating. <clears throat> I think an unintentional evade there. It's drifting closer to the water. Oh. Oh, could it be that its ability to fly has been knocked out? It has. <coughs> Oh well, Amfreets wasn't even confident in his own design, but I think he's just got the win. That might be fair to say that Amfreets had the better craft. He's won the, uh, he's won. I think he has. It might technically have to knock out the guns, but I might even just call that because clearly the core of the craft's gone. The guns can't aim at this point. Yeah, I think we give that win to, uh, Amfreets. I know the fight isn't over. I can't imagine those gun pods will turn it around, especially when I'm not entirely sure that they've got much aiming equipment built in. Let's have a quick look. If they could theoretically kill it, I guess I could count it, but I don't think either side is going to get close enough. It has warning systems. It has something buried in there. What is that? Oh, it's got a gun. Oh, that's the gun. <coughs> Sorry, that's the actual gun. Oh, it does have detection systems on it. Hmm. Do I assume these things to kill it, or do I go feasibly they're not going to and... No, I think I'm going to go feasibly. They're not going to kill it. They're not going to be able to damage it. It's probably going to stay where it is, if anything. Now, it's not that there wasn't damage sustained, but look at that frontal armor. Many layers of tough plating here. I think the mortars are still firing. I don't know where they're firing to, but there we go. That was the rematch. However... We are supposed to also be having our next round. This looks about right. Okay, I'll we'll do a quick test here. 37.2. This looks pretty good. I'll do a quick test battle. I'll just load in a couple of my vehicles. But we'll do the the next one will of course be the land battle. That we just summon in a couple of T-Haulers. Do a quick, uh... Where have they spawned? Over here. I see. This appears to be... So oh, is this like the edge of the map? Oh, it's the edge of the map, isn't it? Of course it is. It's not that there's nothing... Not, uh, that It's not that it hasn't spawned there, it's just that there is nothing there. Yeah, this looks good. Let's try... Yeah, is it flat enough that both machines don't immediately explode? I might move it a tiny bit. Oh, this, I have not done this before, so I don't know what the good locations are. Let's do 17.5. That's what mo I mostly want both sides' locations to be. That's not flat. 17. <clears throat> That's definitely not flat. And 17.2. <coughs> And then, if I just do 7, does that move it across? No, the other way. 17.5, wasn't it? They had that near that flat spot. Let's do 8. Let this be one side on there. He's trying to find a spot that isn't... doesn't have both on the rough. Or one side on the rough and... one side not. That kind of starts one team in a uh, canyon. Hmm. Gonna be in the water. Which way are we moving? Oh, hang on. Hang on. That looks about right. That looks like both sides are about even. 
We just start. Has one spawned in the ground? One... No, it hasn't. Okay. Alright, yeah, that's a little bit rough on both sides, but that's fine because it's even. Hopefully the holders are indeed moving. They are. Okay, that's good. As long as the holders can move on this terrain, it should be good. So. Set up. Uh, should, be, uh, should be okay to remember. So. Oh, nope. 600. That should be 10 minutes if I've got that right. So, team 1. We'll guard colours. We'll do team 2. So, thorn colours. Right. It's time for the wheel of doom. Let's find out who's going to be taking on who in the first round. It might be Mephistopheles again by the look of it. Or is it going to drift onto Amphreets? No, it's Amphreets. I'm going to notepad this. I'm just going to quickly note down the uh, list of a few bits and pieces I've got to do, but I'm going to quickly note down the... Uh, Oh, I was supposed to remove that. Everyone's name, so I don't have to keep copying and pasting them into the wheel. Amphreets, you coming out. So it'll be Amphreets on team one. <coughs> I can't remember who's got what, but you'll be spawning at ground level anyway. Uh, yes, I believe Amphreets is Machine Edge Tracks, so he will be on the ground outright. Versus. It's going to be tanks, I think. Yeah, it's Tanks. Okay. Now, what was Tanks driving? He had the Demios. Now, the Demios, in theory, if I've done this right... Did I not set this up right? I forgot to set up his uh, machine. One moment, YouTube. And we're back. Sorry about that. Ready to go. I believe. Pause this. But yes, <coughs> we have one vehicle that is technically a land vehicle. Oh, I guess we got a screenshot. Versus one vehicle that is now a land vehicle. I know he was very worried about his little uh, sonar thing. I think it's broken off, clipping it to the ground. I'm not entirely sure what. Uh oh. <coughs> well, uh, unfortunately, I think that's some free damage. Oh, big hits. Demios has taken a big hit. The submersible platform is also taking return fire, though. Yeah, sorry about that, uh, tanks. I hadn't even thought about that until you, I know you mentioned it in the thing, but I'd forgotten about it until just then. There's missile fire coming in from both sides. I think the submersible platform is doing more damage at the moment. Lambs from the Demios kicking in. Is it damaged? No, it did stop that one missile. Although, it's probably not going to stop all of these. We know it's Lamb's had a bit of problems in the last fight. Oh, looks like the Sea Wizard's taking a hit. I'm not... My money was on the Demios for doing well this tournament. Uh, if I had to pick any side, I don't mean to pick favourites. I thought, hey, this seems pretty tough at the first fight. It might be okay. Now I'm starting to wonder. However, it is certainly not out yet. I'm not gonna not going to write it off. Its guns are still firing. This one, I think, is still firing both barrels, even though the barrel itself is uh, slightly missing. Of course, not really the Demios is round. It is meant to uh, be a uh, sea vehicle. Oh, it's taking bad hits, though. <clears throat> what would it have lost at the back here? Part of the lambs. It could be that the lambs was damaged by its, sonar, its own sonar pole hitting the ground there. Oh, let's get down some turrets. It's not entirely dead, though. And the submersible platform has taken some damage, but I don't think any of it's critical yet. That big sort of girder frame on the roof has done it surprisingly well. It's a lot of the attacks it's taking are coming from directly above. But it's these missiles that are being the real killer at the moment. I keep pressing C to check the health. It's like, no, you don't, you don't have to. It's literally in the corner. Still rumbling across the ground here. Is it? Might be effectively disabled at this point. It looks like it's lost all its weapons. A uh, bit of a shame, uh, Demios. I won't write you out entirely just yet, but I have a feeling it's out. 
the case of those missiles just uh, did a lot of damage and I guess the Devis' uh, lambs just wasn't quite up to taking them down. Are they quite tough with the way they're built? Yeah, it looks like some, some body sections maybe, so, so these might be quite tough to actually kill with uh, lambs. Maybe seawiz would have been good, but he's only got one turret perhaps, I don't know. Still at one, it's uh, it won its C round, so might be doing too badly. Another hit. Taking the beating? No, it's still rolling. This is working better than I was worried it might. Little uh, T hauler did its job pulling the uh, ship around. It's rocking a bit, but the alternative was just putting the ship on the ground, and that felt a bit unfair to me, even if I did say it's better than unexpected. It's launching missiles. It has still got some kick to it. Not a lot though, I don't think this thing's gonna go down given we said how tough it is. And that it's in the odd missile that doesn't launch quite right. I don't think I think those ones are okay, but they're definitely some in the last round of one launching right. Yes, that was probably just damage, but Mortars I've yet to see do anything though, I have to admit. Decoys are out, but uh, it's nice exchanging fire. But again, I would say that Demios is taking the worst of it. But that thing does seem to have slowed down in its firing a little bit. Yeah, the, AS, the ASM? The AEM PSP? I don't even know how you say it. The submersible. Is that the sound of Deadly Blades are here? I wonder what part of it's got Deadly Blades in it. Unless it's propellers, maybe. It's very bright on this particular stretch of land. Depths of terrain has always been a little bit strange, but yes, yeah, just mentioned the the, the T hauler is uh, is set to circle at about a thousand. Um, not particularly clever AI, but there you are. Hopefully, the terrain it goes across isn't so rough that it uh, completely ditches it into the ground. I am noticing the AI uh, from the other ship is not the submersible is not targeting it. It's perfectly valid as a target. It isn't indestructible or anything. It can be destroyed. It's tough, but well, it's rugged enough that it shouldn't die after just like a hit or something, unless it's a really bad one. Oh, I think the Demios is going. I will say, if the if the T Hall somehow gets a win on something or any of its variants, uh, I'm counting that as a win for my team. <laughs> Even though I don't have an entrance in this tournament, I'm going to camp that anyway, but given they are unarmed and not set to ram, I think that's unlikely. And Demios has been destroyed. Let's see how long it takes to knock out the uh, T Hauler. If it is focused, how much fire can it resist? Yeah, punch it through layers of this armor, but not all the way through just yet. Don't worry, I won't do this in every fight. This, this fight's clearly over, but. Nope, let's go for a swim. I think we'll call that there, it's going to be stuck there. Right. Now, as you can see, it's tough. It's not too easy to knock it out. That might potentially have knocked out the docking port. I don't think it did. That would have. So that would have knocked out the docking port if it had taken that hit while it was uh, still there. Round two go. or first fight of round two goes to Amfreets. Spin the wheel again and see who's going up next. Going to be Mecha. Mecha's second fight of the day. Didn't have to wait too long. So, can you fix that so well? We'll be using the fixed one from now on. Versus. It won't be a rematch because we've already had the other contestant. 
Rematches are allowed. It's going to be Mew. It's going to be Mew. Meteor Omega. Uh, now, of course, both flying vehicles, so I just realised I need to set the altitude up. <laughs> Under, sorry. Two. Okay. Good and let's go. And I actually did very quickly load in this particular matchup earlier to test the uh, the custom battle system. I'm kind of surprised that went early on. Let me just see if that happens again. Meteor starts out on the chase. Lambs is working. There are small missiles being shot down. I think those might have been countermeasures against the larger missiles. That's why I'm is running. The missiles are slightly faster than it. They're gonna hit if it's yeah, if it's moving like that, it's not gonna evade them. Never hit. Particle cannon fires. No appreciable damage against the meteor though. However, it's probably gonna start to take it. The meteor's not the most durable. It is firing lasers though, and it is still letting off missiles. Big hits to the side. It's getting hits. In fact, it's done quite a lot of damage already. It's done 10%. It's done 72% to the main body. It's... It might come down to whether the Meteor could let off enough missiles before it's destroyed. In all honesty, I wouldn't be at all surprised. I'm not sure what the other gun... Well, it's got the gunship weapons as well. It will be firing from its side. The Tassel of course, has the main cannons. And some small, I think, mostly countermeasure missiles. Looks like the meteors are taking too much damage. I think it this way, if I pause just the camera, it also, yeah, it also pulls at the time limit, so that's a lot fairer as well. That means I don't have to swap out. I keep doing that. I keep <laughs> reflexively going, yes, I need to switch over to the sea view to see how much damage everyone's taken. It's like, no, you don't. This is a lot better for this sort of thing, though. Takes another hit. And another one. Of course, we know if that main body takes too much, it'll drop. And it is dropping. I would say it's still in full control at the moment. Laser is knocking parts off the gun pod. One of the first things we shouldn't hit those gun pods. Which it ought to, it is a laser. They are hit scan, effectively. Or well, nearly, anyway. Hatsu is definitely still attracting the bulk of the missile fire. Ooh! Has it got some thrusters out? Is it losing control? No, it recovers. The meteor's taking damage. Hard to say how much. Could this be this thing's tougher than it, it looked from the first round performance? Maybe it is. It is the cutest. Hang the uh, little carrier aircraft. That's strange. I thought it had two last time. Maybe one's been knocked off. There weren't too many limitations to this tournament. You really were allowed to bring whatever you wanted, apart from EMP, so... And uh, excessive kiting, so... I suppose this land battle's turned into a bit of an air battle, but that's fine. I wasn't going to uh, lock them into tank mode. If your vehicle was built to be able to handle a certain type of terrain, it was okay to do. I think it's in iron thrusters on the tassel, so it's possible that might be space-worthy. This actually might be the only thing that's built to help to work in space. One of the rounds will be a space round, although not that anyone knew that. Is that a damage number? No. Oh, no. I think it might be gone. I think the Mega might have called this round. Yeah, it's destroyed the core. Can it destroy those gun pods before they knock it out? Quite probably. If it gets around an angle that's behind them, I can't imagine there'll be anything they can do. They are deploying smoke, but... That's all they got. They're definitely going to be knocked out in fairly short order. Looks like the Meteor has claimed this round. I'm not even quite sure where we just the missiles throng. Are they in the back? I can't remember, but it's still cruising. It's still firing. Ah, this is a turret now. I see. It's quite a logical expansion to the, uh, the Meteor Duster, actually. Maybe the Mark <laughs> maybe the Mark II, if they ever do a second dialogue game, should be uh, fitted with a turret. Let's do a 3D game, give it a full-on, like, pivot. 
But yes, of course, the, the Meteor Blaster, for those who didn't see the last one I explained it, is from a game I made. It's from my uh, IOC. He's made a, a giant... He's made a bunch of versions. Mew seems to like a... Take it. In fact, a few of the people on the Discord seem to like taking the designs I've made and uh, amping them up. Someone was going to do a, uh, a mutant version of the... I think it was the Momoko. It's our little light tank from the tank campaign. Yeah, it's knocking them out. We'll consider that a win. Well done, Mew. Your first win of the tournament. <laughs> he's moving up a rank. Right. Next round. It's going to be cringe. Little crab boy from the server. He will be against. Uh, where is he? Cringe. KTV. This is land capable, so it will be on the ground. He will be up against. Not many left now. It's going to be Damodoc, Solar Pickle, or Cobra. I think it's going to be Solar Pickle. Ah, what do you have, Solar Pickle? I remember. But we'll see in a moment. And up against Solid Pickles. Where is it? Ah, the Omega. Of course. This might be a hard battle for the KTV, but we'll see. It should be grounded. Actually, the other one probably needs to be airborne. I just realised the... the to be at 200 meters because it's a air vehicle. Right. And start. Ah, we've moved away from the main battlefield. <laughs> Looking good in them, uh, I was going to say in those uh, Deep Water Guard colors, but it's not, of course. Oh, these are Sabos. Oh, wow. The drills are coming in by the look of it versus a scattering of HE and a big cloud of smoke. Let's go. KTV is taking damage. The Solar Pickle is supposedly not, although I see a line of blocks that appears to have dropped off there. I think this might be a fight that might be very over very quickly one way or the other. Either something important is going to get sniped with those railguns, or this thing's going to fall prey to uh, fire from above. Dead again? It's withstood it well. The game has slowed down a lot. Did it crash? No, couldn't see anything. Oh, big damage. Uh oh. What I said about sniping might come through here. Yeah, no, the, the Solid Pickle just took a huge hit. Or the Omega just took a huge hit. Something must have got sniped. But it did not want being sniped. Will that be enough? It is land capable. It's not tremendously maneuverable in general. Something we have seen. It was fairly durable. It did take a beating in the first round. It was like only one gun's in range. It's not turning to fight. Is that because it's stuck, or is it damaged? I'm not sure. I did find out the weirdness was because he was getting the price to fit exactly. That's why there's slightly odd structures on it. I was wondering about in the first round. Nice thing about everyone watching this and talking to me uh, about it is that uh, I get to find out answers to questions like this. Another hit. Bits being chipped off. The Omega's not out of it, but it's taken 10% damage, which is quite a lot. Looks like the railguns are punching through. It's just not getting a huge amount of them off at the moment. Some improvements to maneuverability, I think, would have benefited the uh, KTV well if it ever comes back for uh, some future fight in something. I think, that, I think you improve the mobility on that thing, it might work okay. I think the pickle's going to fly over it, which is good in some ways, but, well, A, it's getting a bit close to its own missile stream, actually. I think it'll be alright on that, but but it will bring the other railgun into a uh, visual range again, or firing arc range, I suppose, as I should say. Is it still functional enough to shoot though? The barrel's down. Looks like the reposition for the pickle might be what it needed. Yeah, could it be that the KTV's mobility has let it down once again? It looks like it is indeed maybe beached. Long rear end has got uh, stuck on the terrain, I think. Oh, wait, no, I say that, it's moving. A little bit. The railguns are tracking, but are they still working? Seems like it. Well, at least there's something attached to it still. But why aren't they firing? Is it because the generator's knocked out and it can't charge? Is it out of ammo? What's going on, I wonder? But then again, the solid picker was seemingly ceased fire as well. 
uneasy stalemate for the moment. Could it be that this is a double KO? If neither side fires for a bit, I'm going to have to consider this a double KO, in which case the pickle will lose because it's taking more damage. No, the pickle is still firing, but it's firing flares. You guys have ammunition this time. You're not going to run out again like in round one. Okay, you guys got until 5 minutes 30 to fire again. Neither of you are firing anything offensive. I'm going to consider that a double KO and I'm going to give Cringe the win because he's taking less damage. Yeah, those don't seem to be an offensive weapon. They seem to be flares. Forty-five seconds remaining. I would say both craft was still, even though he's stuck. I don't believe the KTB's mobility has been knocked out. I think it is just beached, because I can see the track spinning. I'd say both sides are still sort of mobile. But we have something firing, or is that something dropping off? That's a boy of some sort, I think, or a radar dish. Oh, hello! No, it would seem the pickle is still firing. I don't know what it was waiting for, but... I was a... You were close to losing that pickle. I think you're going to get the win, though, I believe. That comeback is probably enough. There's missiles arcing back round. Yeah, it looks like the KTV's weaponry is up to task, which you would hope so, given those huge rail guns. I'm not convinced about the rest of it. It seems to have a lot of small issues, like like that, just being a bit too long and not sinking fast enough in the water and not... Well, not even small, just maneuverability issues. Specifically maneuverability issues. And he's not like he hasn't got some lengths to give it good ground clearance. It's just not enough, clearly, like... The front tracks are a long way back from the nose, and the rear tracks are a long way back from the rear, like... Firing has stopped again. I think I'm going to call that there, and I'm going to give the win to the pickle. Because the KATV has not fired a shot in about two minutes now. It seems to... it is... while it's still capable of moving, it is stuck. It's not firing. The pickle is, even if it's a bit intermittent. So yes, I'm going to give the win to Solid Pickle there. Good work, my friend. You have also now scored. You have also moved up a position. Last battle of the day will be Damadoc versus Cobra. I don't think we had this battle before. Uh, I don't think we've had any rematches at all yet. Uh, but so, Damadoc, who will be lifted by a T-Hauler versus uh, Cobra. Hollywood does have wheels. It is capable of land movement. The Hollywood is apparently the uh, competitor's favourite to win. That's the one people reckon will probably win this one, but I'll, I'll be interested to see on that one. Uh, just checking the sp spawn altitude at zero. It's got very powerful guns. It's got a lot of redundancy, but its armour is basically not there. So, who knows? We shall see. And it's a very big target. Now, the Hollywood, what disadvantage I would say it has, it has tracks. Is it really what would be called maneuverable or movable? Big lag spike. What happened there? The Hollow oh, the Hollywood took a huge hit. 8% damage. What happened? I have no idea, if I'm perfectly honest. <laughs> Something is clear. Oh. Oh, a few gun turrets went down in that opening exchange. Oh god, a huge chain reaction there. Oh no, but... Oh, I think a lot's happened there. The Iron Maiden has also just taken a big hit. It ah, it's lost a front gun turret, I think. Oh god, and the middle one. Yeah, so both sides just did what we call an alpha strike. Oh, the AI... Oh, uh-oh. The AI in the hauler is down. The hauler's been hit. Nope, or has it? No, it hasn't. Ah, of course, the hauler also, I forgot to add, has a lot of self-repair on it. 
Yeah, I did mention they were tough, didn't I? Yeah, so I think the hauler did go down for a moment and then self-repaired. He's getting a full broadside angle. Again, I think a little bit of glass cannoning on both sides here. This thing's armoured in literal wood and it's not thick. This thing is basically armoured by spaced armour. A large amount of it, but... Shots are not going to struggle to go inside it. And it looks like its tracks are failing it. I think it might be about to capsize. It's incredibly wide after all. We're going to be uh, long after all. Yeah, I think its tracks are failing. It's going to capsize. Or it is at least stuck. There goes a volley. Big lag spike. Something exploded. I don't know whose side it was on. Oh, has it been dropped? I think it's been dropped. I think the docking port's taken it. Yeah, the docking port's taken a hit. I want to gun turret down. Oh, it's still close. Maybe the Hollywood will get it, but... The Hollywood has taken more damage, technically. And again, the fact it's capsizing can't be heard of it. It's probably a bit of a shame that your ship didn't choose to go the other way, because I think if you'd chosen to go the other way, you'd definitely have won this, because the Hollywood is just straight capsizing at this point. On dry land, which is impressive. I guess that's just falling over at that point, but... That gun turret can't fire, because it's trying to shoot through the one in front of it. Maybe it'll just shoot anyway, who knows. Yeah, severe damage on both sides. Oh, looks like the docking port's repaired. Hollywood is... Oh, there's some shenanigans happening over there. The Hollywood is still functional, but... Oh, I paused at the perfect moment to see some shots hit. It is still firing. There is definitely damage. Could it be that the rear turrets on the... Uh, the Iron Maiden are enough to bring it through? We'll have to see. A lot of explosions. The I think the Iron Maiden is out of the Hollywood's gun angle now because it's on its side. Now we have said this thing fly question mark before. I don't know how that actually worked, whether that was some kind of stabilization system going mad, some people thought it might have been. I couldn't find any sign of flight equipment. It is sort of drifting again, I don't know what's going on there. I would be very interested to know, actually, uh, Cobra, if you could tell me why the, the Hollywood does this. <laughs> it's sort of taken off again, it's happening again. Why, what, what is it about this craft that makes it do this? Does it have propulsion that I haven't spotted? Is it something else? Is it just because it's so light that explosions throw it around? It is dropping that down again. But it looks like thanks to the damage it's taken, it's and to capsizing because it wasn't stable enough on land, it's not going to get this one, I would say. Of course, if the T-Hauler goes into the water, I believe it will actually be pulled along by the... Uh, the Iron Maiden's own propulsion, if it's still functional. The Iron Maiden did take some big hits, but a lot of its secondaries are still working, and it's still got the rear gun turrets, and they might be all it needs. Meanwhile, the Hollywood is mighty, but it is absolutely helpless at the moment. It looks like it's got nearly, if not completely, nothing firing back. There's still a fair bit of time left. There's still some AA that's firing, but I can't imagine these are tremendously powerful, given the way they're designed. I don't imagine they'll do much to the Iron Maiden unless they hit something critical. It'll be whether when it comes back around, those gun turrets can do something to it. Because it's still got the rear gun, and I reckon a lot of that still works. It is mostly built around redundancy. Oh, look at that damage. This ship would be a maintenance nightmare. It would just be awful. Because <laughs> you just because the way it defends is just by taking the damage and just being like, eh, it's still got some bits of the function. But again, I would be very interested in how the flight works. Are there some here or something? Nope. That's the inside of a gun turret anyway, not a superstructure like I thought it might be. It is very hard to knock out. I think cram turrets would be quite scary against this thing, but... Oh, well, HE cram specifically, because I just delete huge segments of it, but... Looks like the main gun carrots might be about to get a fire at the shot off on it. 
Oh, is it self riding? Is it self riding now that it's got around it? T hole is going into the water. Iron Maiden, you might be required to float. <coughs> will it even float, or will it? Will the T hole override it? It looks like T hole overrides it. Well, I guess because the docking ports. Or possibly just the hold, the hold's been hold. It shouldn't go too far away, but it's possible it might get stuck in the water over there. It is above 80% health, so it shouldn't have to worry about dying from uh, from that. It's floating again. Is this a physics glitch? What is going on here? However, that's only helping the uh, the Iron Maiden because that's lifting it into projectile range again. It's lifting, but it's dropping a lot of blocks. Something the uh, Hollywood's doing is acting very weirdly with physics, I'll say that much. Inside of the gun turret's be Oh, rear gun turret is just gone. That's been completely stripped away now. Some of its secondaries are firing, but they're shooting through its own hull. Frankly, I don't think you're going to do much damage even doing that. Some would say they think it might be, again, the control surfaces, but... Really? With just that? It's not that lightweight. But I guess if it's all half blocks, maybe it is? Crikey, look at the... Look at the hull go. <laughs> Lifted it up that slope. You go, little buddy. Just casually benching an entire dreadnought. Oh, it's coming crashing back down again. Yeah, it lifts up every now and then, and it just thuds back down. Does it no favours. It looks like it might be about to self-right properly, but it's coming at the expense of mangling the nose, and it's already taken so much damage. Yeah, so secondary has just shot a hole in it. Might have a traitor on your team, Cobra. Your own, own ship's firing on itself. The uh, Hollywood's going to turn this around at this point. I think it's going to go down, but fight's not over yet. Certainly been an interesting duel, at any rate. Check the Iron Maiden again. Any notable damage? Big scars to this side of the hull. But doesn't look like anything too critical is exposed there. Again, gun turrets gone. Well, the front and middle gun turrets are gone. The rear two seem to be firing just fine. This has its secondaries in a position where they could probably actually fire now, but we've already seen them shooting through itself. And it's only got a few more percent before uh, the game kills it. Remember, 55% it dies, I believe, so... Looks like the hauler itself is maybe being targeted now. By that last volley, anyway. And you can kill it, but it's not feeble. It does self repair. Oh, another big hit. I think that was an explosion. So like it punched through more, maybe more than one magazine in one go there. One of those little metal boxes, anyway. Oh, it's capsizing again the other way this time. I wonder if it's something to do with the ship's weird physics. I wonder if that's what's killing it. Or making it capsize anyway. Something to do with the way it's so weird in general? I'm not sure. This is theoretically, it's got tracks that are like nearly full width. It should be a sort of stable. I suppose maybe not on any sort of rough terrain. Strangely enough, it looks like in the uh, battle of amphibious ship versus ship that is not amphibious, but getting a lift. It looks like getting a lift is the way to go. And it's out. I saw the dialogue for a moment there. Oh, huge explosion. Oh well. Looks like the final round goes to Damodoc. Defeating the uh, fan favourite for the win. I'll bring up the scores again in a minute, because uh, we now, of course, have the final ones. Uh, 
play about the rest of the stuff on that sheet. It's just things I've got to remember at the moment. And uh, also a little bit about the uh, rounds that are coming up. But uh, of course you know how those are going to go anyway. I don't know how to play that first one. Well, uh, we'll leave that to play out while I uh, bring up the scores again. But uh, I'm just going to adjust them quickly so people are in the right place on them. There it goes. All those many, many three-quarter or half slabs of wood. And stripped away. It floats off again because of physics, I guess. I don't know what's going on with this ship's physics, man. It's weird. <laughs> it's a weird ship. I'm guessing they'll do some kind of battle one thing. Maybe it gives you even a status screen at the end. I don't know. There's little mini chambers going up. Ah, pause. Oop. DQ. Ah, disqualified, I guess, because it's dead. Right. The scores for the final round. I'm going to. Let's adjust that. There we go. Tournament scores so far. Damadoc and Amfreets are at the top in joint first with two wins each. Cobra X, Tank 745, Mew 2014 and Solid Pickle joint the second with a single kill each. Again, we'll do 1v1s if it comes to uh, tiebreakers at the end. Our Megastopheles and the Cringe are yet to score. Even after the remake, I thought Megastopheles, I was with them, I thought Megastopheles would probably win that rematch, but didn't happen in practice. Well, there we go. That's round two. Uh, round three will be the space battle. Uh, there'll be no gravity. No gravity and no atmosphere. And if your craft can't handle that, you'll be being lifted by the ion hauler. So yeah, you guys got that one to look forward to. I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.